So dad's coming back tomorrow. So we we will get started on grinding all the gel coat off the steps. This is our new rudder. Well, you can't really see anything through it because it's not the clearest of plastics. So they want the resin to set and you have to heat up the resin. And you don't want all that heat escaping. So that, hence the plastic bag to keep the heat in. We put some primer on the step extension yesterday. So it looks the same ish color as the boot. Another layer of primer and Shane is doing, oh no wait, can't screw that other rudder on. So we now have two matching rudders. And what are you doing, Shane? Sail drive out of the boat. So we have a Volvo Penta uh, 2003 series engine with a um, S120 sail drive. Yeah. That's the sail drive here. Um, in behind and below everything. Of course, this is the bit that we need to pull out. The reason I am pulling it out is to replace uh, this rubber boot here okay so this is the the hull here and uh, this is the sit sail drive here and this rubber boot basically stops all the water coming in the boat um, and it's recommended that this gets replaced every seven years um, and we have absolutely no idea how old this rubber boot is for all I know is it could be still original which would be 20 21 years old uh, sorry 31 years old now so I'm gonna pull it out and replace it 
and um, yeah make sure that it's all uh, good for the big trip back home to New Zealand to pull it out gonna need to start with I need to pull the take the exhaust hose off so obviously you can see the exhaust hose is straight over the top of the cell drive I'm gonna take the water inlet out okay and this is actually something we'll upgrade when this is out the water inlet here uh, this is where the water comes up the sail drive and there's a hose oh, with a hose clip Let's see if it'll focus no it's in the dark doom and nowhere um, <coughs> there's a there's a hose that connects us to that tap <coughs> that's the hose that comes up here then it goes to my fresh water strainer then from a fresh water strainer goes back down under the motor once it goes under the motor it connects to basically the uh, raw water pump here which then goes follows the pipe through here into the heat exchanger heat exchanger is here then it comes out of the heat exchanger nice and hot from the engine through here and into the exhaust mixer so that it sprays the salt water that's just cooled the engine into the exhaust which then cools the exhaust um, gases so it doesn't melt all the hoses then it goes through the water lock and it goes way up here with this big loop and then out the side of the boat the reason go why it goes what this big loop here is so that water can't come back in from inside here up here and then fill this and essentially drown the engine so it's a bit of a safety feature it also keeps a constant level of um, water here in the uh, water lock so that it um, uh, creates a muffler so yeah so i'll um gonna whip this this off this hose off uh, I may have to move these hot water hoses here out of the way or I might get away with them and then once I've done that then I've got to pull the, uh, okay, the selector cable that's another one, big one I've got to pull off so I've got to pull the selector cable off as well and once that's done we'll come back and we'll have a look and um, we'll look at taking the ring off out of the play, out of the way and um, yeah uh, then tying up the engine so it doesn't fall down and all the rest of it right so I've done undone the hose clips and yeah try and take this off with one handed it's all nice and rusty kind of expect being in salt water all the time. for a change. You want to tell me what you're doing? Nope. <laughs> <laughs> so I'm taking the, the uh, seal uh, holder out and I'll pull the... Um, well, you should put the bucket underneath it. Yeah, I should probably empty the bucket so we don't knock it over. This um, is the bearing and seal carrier on the aft end. And I'm taking the drive shaft out so that it's easier to fit up in the hole. I can technically leave it in, but it becomes a pain in the bum. Can you 
Is it going to be a little bit of bang bang to get it out? Mm, possibly. Using the wrong job, uh, wrong tool, the wrong job. Might need a hammer to tap that. Tap that out. See if any oil comes out of that bottom bit. Yeah, shouldn't be. And no, no oil. This will be oil that came out from in here. Out of that little screw there. So what are we doing here? Disposing of the oil thoughtfully. Slowly coming off. actually quite a groove there. Uh oh. They've been running and wearing it away. It's not a dire at the moment. But oh, we're missing oh. some bits out of teeth here. Oh. <laughs> it's not ideal. That isn't. That isn't very good, is it? Yeah. And that rear bearing looks a bit knackered. Not knackered, but it's certainly seen some action. Bottom bearing there is lots Ooh. of pitting. And that's where all these uh, gears have been chipped. Yep. Um, all the swarf, all the bits of metal that were from those, yep. have ended up in going through the bearings. Oh. The bearings have um, shaved them. No, they got little scratch marks all over them. Oh, okay. Uh, that's not ideal. Anyway. Alright, so you have a oil is all milky in between the seals yeah so that's showing that there was water in there getting in but it wasn't making it past the the oil one so the brown one is the oil one yeah it wasn't making it past it because our actual um our actual uh, oil in the sail drive was yeah. quite relatively clean it wasn't all white and milky like that yeah that isn't meant to be like that. Uh, There's, there it is, all there. White milky stuff. Yeah. Now you're gonna go up there and uh, remove the cell drive? Yep. Disconnected. Um, I disconnected. I pulled out the uh, output shaft, which the propeller attaches to, out of the gear case, which makes it a lot easier to pull the uh, sail drive out of the top of the hole. Now I'm back in the engine room, and I have connected a small block and tackle from the uh, exhaust riser to. We're lucky we have a, a ring frame here with a bolt in it can't see because the light's really bad but yeah so now all I have to do is remove the six bolts that hold the gear case to the bell housing and it should come out
super heavy. How long did it take Dad to get out, Harry? Yeah. 20 minutes at least. I thought he's been doing it all day, haven't you? No, just so, get this piece out. Okay, out. so which you're going to service, taking it out, we're going to service it. And you want to replace which bits? That. I have to replace this rubber boot. This is the one that stops our boat from sinking. That's the bit that stops the boat from sinking. It looks like it's rusting away, Shane. <sighs> wow, Shane, it looks rugged. <laughs> it's not too bad. All the engine mounts. That engine mount is cooped. Oh, I see. Oh, what? oh okay, wow. that's... And this that's... one buggered. So. Okay. And now you want to order stuff from England when they've got all sorts of Brexit yeah. import duties. Yeah. Really, are we that close? Yeah. Yes. So how many layers of primer have we put on? On the hull? Yeah. This, uh, that whitey looking one is the third. And then the, um, well, it's a half a layer. It's a two and a half layers. Um, and then there'll be a um, third slash fourth, fourth layer that goes on just before the anti foul. The and what else have we done? Catched on the rudder. So we have two rudders on. Still need a little bit of finishing on the rudders. Uh, dagger boards are being tidied up. Um, yeah, Yarek's doing our... Working on tidying the dagger boards up. Sanding, a little bit of fairing and filling. Just tidying up what I couldn't do in Cartagena. Yeah, because you put an extra 400 mil on the bottom of those yeah. in Cartagena. Yeah, and I pulled the sail drive out of the port side. Yeah. I need to place the rubber boot, clean up the clamp that holds the rubber boot. Um, uh, replace the seals on the output propeller shaft. And then refit and reseal it all in place. Oh, paint the paint the leg as well. 